The man accused of causing a scare at Johnston High School yesterday heads to court. Jonathan Mikovic faced the judge today one day after he was arrested for being in possession of a firearm and then trying to get into the school. Iowa News reporter Madeline Wright is live in the newsroom now with the new developments tonight. Mike, today Johnston police tell me they don't believe the suspect is behind the two threatening letters against Johnston, Cranston and Warwick schools because there's no evidence for it. But he's still facing some serious charges. 38-year-old Jonathan Mikovich appeared before a judge in handcuffs Friday, one day after police say they arrested him at Johnston High School with a gun in his car. According to a criminal complaint, it was a Sig Sauer P238 380 caliber semi-automatic handgun. The police went and found his car. They located the gun in between the seats of the vehicle, which was parked in the first row of the parking lot of the school. In court, officials say Mikovich tried to get through the school's back door, claiming he was there to bring scotch tape to someone named Julie Stevens. Uh, they ran the records and there was no Julie Stevens at the school, so they were not letting them into the school. Officials say Mikovich then claimed he was there for homecoming, which is until Saturday. Police arrested him. He's now charged with two felonies, possession of a firearm on school grounds and possession of a firearm without a license. He's also charged with misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Officials say he disrupted the school at a time when it was on high alert because of the two recent threat letters. Police say Mikovich appeared to be disoriented when he showed up at the school. You don't even know what state you're in right now? No, I don't. Okay, so that's a problem too, but you're in Rhode Island. A judge ordered a mental health evaluation and competency review for Mikovich. His bail was set at a quarter million dollars. He's originally from Mississippi. Police are now looking into how he wound up here in Rhode Island. Live in the newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.